But I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Bitch, you are not gonna be sleeping with Craig tonight. No, 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 no. Craig is mine. Uh Hi, guys, and welcome to another episode of Dream Daddy. <laughs> so I enjoyed myself with Joseph last episode. Um, definitely maybe crave brownies. <laughs> but 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 i'm actually getting a lot more interested in joseph just trying to like uncover what he's all about because he's just so mysterious to me now you know like i just want to know more about him but uh i think today we're gonna go ahead and focus on craig <laughs> so i'm really excited to um check out check out craig's profile and then to um see how our first date We'll go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here from DB. Gray, listen, this is you from the past. What? Whoa, how'd this happen? I figured you're trying to reply to this because I know myself, but this is an automated message from you earlier this morning when it was socially unacceptable to go out and buy ice cream. <laughs> I forgot I did that. I forgot how I did that as well. <laughs> the future is amazing. Listen, life is short and ice cream should always be acceptable, but unfortunately, this isn't the society we live in. And it's less the society we live in and more me projecting my own anxiety about being judged onto others. But you, but you know what I mean. By the time you're reading this, it is a certain time of day in which nobody will bat an eye at you for going out and buying ice cream. You know what to do. Be a good one. Or, or, or be good, me. You know what? Let's buy that ice cream. <laughs> Let's go, me. Oh, God. You know what? I've, I've earned a treat. On the way home, I decided to stop off and grab some ice cream, which I fully plan to eat directly from the tub. Okay, it's always best from the tub. Tastes better. <laughs> I spent a lot of time trying to figure out just which type of ice cream I'd like to eat directly from, from the tub. Rocky Road, pistachio. Oh, Amanda's probably going to want some too. I, I better get two tubs. She loves cookie dough ice cream, right? Hey, mister. I turn around to see Ernest leaning up against the wall of the convenience store. Ernest? What are you doing here, Ernest? You're cool, right? Um, I'm cool. I'm cool, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Well, if you're cool, you'll help me out, right? Help you out? There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. I am not buying you a cigarette, Ernest. I am not buying you a cig. So if I give you $20, will you buy me e-liquid or an e-cig it doesn't matter i'm not buying you any of that Ernest, what's e-liquid it's like a gatorade you know electrolyte liquid i'd get it myself but i'm banned from here for for trying to run a grift on, on, on the cashier a, cl a classic fiddle game you know the deal Oh, if you're talking about balance electrolytes, then I got you, little buddy. And I didn't know you played the fiddle. Just ask the clerk for blue... What? Blue Cran... Blue Cran Razapple Vortex. He'll know what it is. I am not buying you an e-cig. I pick up a tub of pistachio ice cream for myself and, and a tub of cookie dough for uh, Amanda. I search around for some blue crazen void starer, but can't seem to find to find any. I turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e-liquid? Behind the counter. You got an ID? First of all, my daughter is older than you. Second of all, <laughs> I'm flattered. I switched shampoo recently. Is that is is that taking some years off? Look, you need to be you need to be 21 to buy vape juice. Your hair doesn't look a day over 20. Wait a minute. Are, 
are you just trying to butter me up to get me to buy more ice cream because it's working <laughs> i glance outside and spot ernest staring at me double wait a minute so you're telling me that e-liquid is not a sports drink it's for vaping Ernest is watching us intently through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. I see. Okay, look, I'm gonna pretend that you didn't try to trick me into buying you the old Baphomet's cough syrup and then go inside here to purchase, to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell your dad if you promise to scram. And stop vaping, you'll get popcorn lung. I mean, Ernest, it is bad for you. Just saying, it, it is bad. What if I give you 25? You're not gonna bribe me. Go home, Ernest. As I'm walking back inside, Ernest calls after me. You can get popcorn lung from microwave popcorn, you know. I no longer trust this child, but the mere notion strikes fear into my heart. You need to do something about your kid, <laughs> Hugo. I go back inside to complete my purchase with a good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bub. I glance out the window while, while to see Ernest still outside. Look like he's talking to some other poor sap. Guess I, I should go outside and save this other guy some grief. Wait a second. That's definitely a cop. Oh boy. I grab my tubs of ice cream and bolt outside. Ernest is already face down on the hood of a squad car. Ernest, what did you do? Ernest, did you seriously just try to get a cop to buy you e-liquid? Do you know this kid? Uh, never met him in my life. Nope. <laughs> no, uh, I'm friends with his dad. Uh, yeah, we live in the same cul-de-sac. I, 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 I know his dad. Listen, he's a good kid and I'm this boy's father. I turn around and see Robert walking up the street toward the convenience store. What the fuck is going on? Wait, wait, is Robert just stepping in just to save his ass? Uh? Ernest, what are you doing? I want a lawyer. Mm. First of all, good first instinct. Remember that you're not required to answer any questions from a police officer without a, a lawyer present. You're this boy's father? Hey. Yes, sir. Ernest likes to lash out at me like this ever since the accident. Oh, um, I don't like talking about it. That's fine. You see, no, see this situation. I'm happy Robert is is a very good liar <laughs> because, because the cop is eating this story like ice cream. Mm. Robert gets a wistful twinkle in, 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 in his eye. Hey. It, it all started seven summers ago. My hair was long then. New metal was still in style. Ernest and I were down the Florida swampland scavenging for... Sir, I can leave you to take it from here. Hmm. Sounds good. Thanks, officer. Hmm. Ernest, come along now. You'll be cleaning grout from the rain, the rain cutter for a week thanks to this transgression. The police officer gets in his car and drives off. I'm stunned by how cool Robert was just there. Thanks. I want to say, Richard? Ouch. Uh. Don't mention it, Hemingway. Got in trouble plenty of times in my life, just trying to do my good deed for the day. Will you buy me e-liquid if I give you 20? Ernest! No one is going to buy you e-liquid. You need to e-get the fuck out of here and go back home. That's what you need to do. Child, I will end you. <laughs> like, oh my God. I don't know. Hey, great. Will you walk Ernest home with me? Sure. Oh. Ernest r runs ahead, presumably, so he won't be seen with us, which is a thing I think kids do. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. Uh -huh. Well, maybe I wasn't as dumb. <laughs> Seems like he tortures his dad. Hey. Seems like he tortures just about everybody. He even stole your wallet. What? No, he did I pat my back pocket. I pat the rest of my pockets. He stole my wallet. Mm. Why are you doing this to yourself? I... What? Oh. Robert points at my tubs of ice cream. 
One of them's for Amanda. Hey. I have no qualms with the quantity of ice cream you've purchased. It's a perfectly respectable amount of ice cream. It's the quality I'm talking about. Uh -huh. You work hard, Gray. You're a good dad. Don't you think you deserve top shelf ice cream? But these were on sale. Hey. If you're gonna treat yourself, go big or go home. Real, ooh, real vanilla bean though. Robert knows what he's talking about right here. Real vanilla bean is on a different level. It's so good. <laughs> real pistachio, you deserve it. Oh. We arrive at, at the cul-de-sac and Ernest runs into his home. Mm -hmm. That boy is a reason why we don't have prizes in cereal anymore. Oh. Catch you around, Gray. Robert tosses me my wallet. I catch it with a surprised look on my face. Mm. I stole it back. I will not be swayed by Robert. I will not be swayed by Robert. I'm not going to be swayed by Robert. No. Mm. Keep it in your front pocket or use a chain like back in your Scott days. Smell you later. See ya, Robert. I go back inside my home, ready to spend the rest of the night with two sub with two tubs of ice cream and also Amanda. I would not be swayed Welcome. by Robert. You've got dads. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that was an interesting session with Robert. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, Craig, hello. All right, Craig Khan. Ooh, okay. Dad of three, business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is, is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, you are most likely to get one last good car, one last good cardio session in. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A box of energy bars. I guess it's a good item, but that's pretty shitty compared to the other ones. At least Damien had like shelter and I forgot what Joseph had, but Joseph had something better than a box of energy bars. <laughs> what are your turn ons? A sub six minute mile. Damn, we're gonna have a problem because I can only do a sub two second mile. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? beer pong world champion i could see that what's your favorite movie genre buddy cop move movies forever right okay what's your ideal date scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun what do you never leave home without an extra tube of energy gel i spend a lot of time thinking about my mile time used to be so good what happened have i peaked <laughs> Oh my, you are such like a fitness head. I mean, I guess like that's that's your thing, fitness and stuff. But God, Craig, jeez. Anyways, Craig, let's uh, have our first date. I wonder where Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang out. Might be a little different from our old weekend long, weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to um, Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda s sitting cross-legged on, on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. Ooh. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a, co I take a closer look at her collage that's a lot of dogs it's mostly dogs yeah did you need something <laughs> that's what she wants just all dogs that's that's her future dogs craig invited us to a softball game want to go hmm. remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and i just ran off the field 
ran off of the field crying. <laughs> and then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yes. <laughs> uh. I was afraid of baseballs. I... I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? <laughs> Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Ugh. So when did the kids start crying and running off of the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Mm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Oh. Definitely not that. <laughs> the game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with, with the clipboard. He has rivers strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the, the mascot. And look at Craig and do BB. Hi, little BB. <laughs> God, I love Craig's baby so much. Oh, she's so cute. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks! Hi. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. <clears throat> yeah, Miranda, square up! <laughs> How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Hmm. But yelling is fun. <laughs> Give it a shot, it's cathartic. Um, keep your eye on the ball and also an eye on the bat and the outfield and the other players <laughs> just keep your eye on all this stuff simultaneously <laughs> keep your eye on everything <laughs> nice <laughs> we watch a couple innings of softball they aren't ready for the major leagues yet but craig's trained his team pretty well it seems like he's really good with kids keg stan craig is good with children whoa ah. it's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet amanda dear y you have to let it go hmm. let what go i'm perfectly fine the uh, opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into center field. The tiny little girl tries to get uh, uh, under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. Hey, See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off of the field as soon as she sobs. Her the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. Kids change a the man. They can. <laughs> the game resumes after the girl clean after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning the ocelots seem to have given up by this point i see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass <laughs> a batter on the other team knocks a foul ball in into the stands i follow the trajectory and oh no it's coming right for me oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Ah! I caught the ball. You saved me. Ah. I caught the ball, Dad. I, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment and I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's, and Craig's team 
are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Oh. Great job, everyone. We, we, we walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Oh. Uh, thanks. We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Oh, those are your names, Briar and Hazel. Hello. Hello. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? <laughs> oh, God. Hazel. <laughs> Dang, we to put shade on Hazel. Yeah, it's me. She's not denying it. <laughs> Good looking out. Yeah. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. Oh my god. What? Hmm. We will talk about this later. <laughs> yeah, you need to talk about this later with your kids. Oh. Great, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jump into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him a, and and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it, covers it up with a smile. Of course! <laughs> I think Janet... I think Janet wants a bit of Craig, and I don't blame her. Craig is hot as shit. But, back off, bitch. Craig is mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? <laughs> what? Huh. What? Wait, Amanda, what?! the shade <laughs> it's a real place you sure <laughs> an endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of, of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet which is actually called thirsty's pizza amanda and i trail behind them with craig oh god reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day oh. Rem remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside oh my fucking god ew ah uh, pizzacos <laughs> i could never forget how did we survive college <laughs> Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around, playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of medio mediocre pizza. Oh. Hey, give me a pizza bag. Hey. No, absolutely not. <laughs> hmm? I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Hmm. Dad, a different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's nice, Martha. Now, Martha needs to get the fuck away from Craig. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. It definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since... It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Oh, I... Martha? You need to stop. <laughs> Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepish she sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Um, 
Smoke screen, Martha. <laughs> uh, let's create a diversion. I pull out the first thing that comes to mind. Who watched Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers last night? What? Caleb and Flint Dogbone visited a truck stop that was also a cemetery and led an exorcism of a ghost that was haunting the hot dog grill. I nudge Amanda for support. <laughs> there was also a demon haunting one of the bathroom stalls and it kept throwing poop on the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Mm. Actually, now that I think about... Now that I think about it, there's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for that. But still, quality television. I haven't seen that. Mm. I haven't seen that either. Wow, we have so much in common. Really? 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 Damn. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm talking to Hazel and Briar. Oh, so I'm, I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Uh -huh. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Bitch, you are not gonna be sleeping with Craig tonight. No, 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 no. Craig is mine. Uh, Gray, we need a... Uh, next option, I'm, I'm just gonna get... I'm going to fucking throw the illest shade at her. Next option. I'm gonna throw shade at her. Wow, this lady is really going for the gold. Hey. <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself and River, but thanks for the invite. <laughs> oh, look at River's face. <laughs> She's like, bitch, really? <laughs> no one's gonna touch my dada, thank you. <laughs> uh, goo goo, uh, gaga. <laughs> oh. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear, if we have to buy it. Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Hmm. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter, but she seems dumb as rocks. <laughs> I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Nice. Only on days like today, I hope. Uh, Dad. Huh? Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? Bitch, DDR isn't even that hard. Like, it is so e- Well, there are some hard songs. You just gotta keep practicing and, and it'll get easy. Super, super, super duper easy. We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, God. Oh, man. Girls, you know why I, I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad. Craig looks at me, looks at me like a hurt puppy. Oh, no. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise, I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It, it, it's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Oh. There's worse places than, than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on, on pinball? You know it. Amanda and I pull up to a, a machine that's feeling pretty hot and gets to, and and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a, a decent score and then challenge Amanda to to top mine. And immediately she gets multi ball. Looks like she takes after her father. <laughs> You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score. But I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Yes, Janet, what do you what do you want? Uh yeah, we we went to college. Yeah, we did. We went to college together, Janet. <sighs> Please don't lean on anything. Huh, that's so interesting. So, do you know if he's, like, available? Bitch, no, he's taken. Thank you. <laughs> he's off the market, all right? Oh, I honestly don't know if, if, if I could hmm. say. 
seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Rip, Amanda. Ah. You stone harpy. What? Ugh. I said, I have to go over there now and put a pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey. Bro, what's going on? Hmm. Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head, we head out, out of the pizza place, finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Huh? Hope, you, hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Oh, <laughs> River is so cute. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Mm. Up for some catch? Oh, we're going to play catch? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. <laughs> We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Oh. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand. I, I, I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those are some good times. I don't know anyone else who, who, who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't probably hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Um, Ask about coaching softball. So is softball coach the life you wanted or was it the life that, that was thrust upon you? Oh. <laughs> I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Bryle and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them I I into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal balls. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. What about the business? So you run a business now? Hey. Yep. We sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. Huh? If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. <laughs> that is the glamorous lifestyle style we're catering to, yes. And what about the kids? I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither can I. You know me, I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I lived. Hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? Oh. Christ, Janet. <laughs> Even he's like, fuck Janet. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Uh. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Oh. Peace and quiet. Oh, I I agree 100%. I love peace and quiet. 
That's hot. Hot silence. Nice. <laughs> My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Nice. But more seriously, okay, damn. <laughs> but more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. I... And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. And I'm not a stranger, so you should definitely um go out with me. <laughs> oh. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top my top priority, that's right. That's right. Hits, hit softballs. Don't get hit on my moms. You're doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. You're doing a great job. Those kids love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down right. Oh. Thanks, bro. Hmm. That means a lot coming from you. Well, I'm, I'm distracted. I missed a softball and... Damn, it hits me right on the head. Fuck. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Mm -hmm. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Hmm. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do, do the, dad, the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment e examining my head. I don't know. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. <gasps> yeah, don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. <sighs> Please kiss it and make it better. <laughs> Bro. You would be so lucky. That was planned. <laughs> that was planned. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. I still got it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they'll learn in high school. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hmm. Hey, hey, little buddy, you, you, you must be getting tired, huh? Her eyes are closed. Her eyes are just like, you fucked up, da-da. <laughs> a goo-goo, a gaga. <laughs> hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a, a helicopter Bro. how could i forget you and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away but the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked oh oh man yeah could you imagine the look on our faces we just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll and not knowing that they that that we were at the party they started joking with us about how how big of a bust it was oh my god we had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. Nice. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Mm. Good old days, right? You guys keep re reminiscing about college. Col You're going to get depressed if you keep talking about college. We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug or at least as much as we can manage with the baby with the baby between us <gasps> oh craig mm -hmm. never enough time huh guess not can you just like kiss already like what <laughs> can you just like there's never enough time right so the time is now kiss <laughs> jesus mm -hmm. let me make it up to you let's let's hang soon yeah i'd like that I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her her collage, glue stick in hand, burning the midnight art oil. Yeah. Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Eh? Yes. <laughs> I look over her shoulder at, at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Ah. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash, and the other it's... 
uh, Amanda, is that me? Hmm. Yep. The whole thing is about my goals for the future. And those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> ah. Oh, dad, you did this with your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Mm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm. Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears. She... Uh, yeah, she caught the ball. So, like, props to her for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I am on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? <gasps> yeah, that is a hard no from me, Gray. <laughs> uh. Baby steps, Dad. <laughs> I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hi. Ooh, they complete. I don't think I did that good, though. What did I do? Oh, I that got was an a great a. day. I got an A. I got an A. Ooh. I actually thought I was gonna get like a B or a C or some shit because like I didn't do so well at the pizza place. I felt like I could have handled that a little bit better at the pizza place, but we did good on our date with Craig. <laughs> All right. Welcome. You've got dads. Ooh, Craig. Hello. Hey, dude. I've got the runs. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'll head to, to the store and grab you a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumbles that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wouldn't that make it worse? Oh, it's for... Oh, it's not for, for, the, for the diarrhea. Milkshakes are just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? By I've got the runs, I meant that I feel like running. That's not what that means regularly though, Craig. Wanna... Wanna to come with me to the gym? <laughs> Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you home... than you home <laughs> remedies for diarrhea? <laughs> come on, man. It'll be fun. You know what? Sure. What, when are we doing this? There's 30 more minutes left in this meat hell marathon. I'm outside right now. I'm warming up. Okay, okay. At least let me see if Betsy gets away from the wolves in time to get her sopressata wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. Oh, jeez. Anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me on this episode of Dream Daddy. But we are running on time here. And yeah, we'll definitely go running with Craig next episode, at the start of next episode. Uh, but yeah, Craig, that was actually... That was a pretty nice a date with Craig. Those bitches need to not go after Craig because Craig is mine. <laughs> I think we're, we're going to be fighting a lot of moms dealing with Craig. And that's I think that's going to be like a little bit annoying, but a little fun, a, a, a little fun at the same time, too. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you had an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye. -bye.